Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Ryan Grant. Wearing white, trimmed in gold, he weighed it officially 163 and three quarter pounds. In 19 professional bouts, he enters the ring tonight, perfect as a professional. 19 victories, no defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Here is the undefeated Steve, Mr. And across the ring stands his opponent, who tonight makes his return to the ring after nine months. With his trainer, Jonathan Banks, he wears tonight red trunks. Weighing in officially 163 pounds and 40 professional bouts, his record, an impressive and outstanding one. 38 victories, just one defeat, one bout even, 34 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the middleweight, K.O. King from Canada. Gentlemen, you both have instructions. I want you to obey the commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Right now, we're going to call under the G. We're going to call it under the R. All right? Tap it up. Let's go to work. Nine months off matches a career high for Golovkin. Coming off his first loss, 37 years old. Such a remarkable career. But how much is left? Golovkin gets fired up. Steve Rolls, meantime, has not fought anyone in the top ten. So, Sergio, how does he react? to the world-class former champion, and he's in there tonight in round one. Well, he talked the talk, now it's time to walk to walk, because he has a monster in front of him in Golovkin. Round one here at Madison Square Garden. It's the main event and the return to the garden for Gennady Golovkin. Golovkin claims the center of the ring. He has, of course, an outstanding jab. He is master of space and distance has tremendous power with both hands. Rose is confident. He told us he's a well-rounded gym rat. He's undefeated. But I'm curious to see how he's going to react once he gets clipped in the chin by Gennady Golovkin. Golovkin with a lead hook. He'll try unconventional things. He sees things in the ring, Sergio, that others do not. Very patient, voice puncher. He doesn't waste punches. If he's not in position, Rolls started boxing at 17, turned pro at the age of 26, so he is 19 and 0. He's already 35 years old, and this is the night of his life. He gets the big shot, maybe not at the title, but at the former champ and one of the elite fighters in the world. He's already presented something of a stationary target. Kind of expect Rolls to move He's there. Rolls flashing out a jab, able to move forward behind it. Measuring the lock and at least keeping him at bay. Defensively sound, tries the jab to the body and lands. The chance is up. Again, not quite the packed house that we had last week, but a lot of excitement at the return of Gennady Golovkin here as he starts. His new contract with DAZN, big free agent signing. Triple G agreeing to a three-year, six-fight deal with DAZN in June. That, of course, after Canelo Alvarez signs to DAZN. With his record-breaking deal and everything points toward a third fight. Not a done deal. We will talk about that, including in the post-fight show. But certainly, everything is moving toward that. If everything goes Golovkin's way tonight. Either about Demetrius Andre lurking out there with the other piece of the middleweight title. He wants Golovkin as much as he wants anybody. Watch your head. I could already see right now, just like in our last fight with Marcus McDaniel, Steve Rolls is dipping his head to the right side, which is exposing the left side. What's this? What's this? Well, he was laying on the right badly there too, Sergio. I saw that. That was a bad place to be. Golovkin goes to the body, digging in a left hook. Expect Golovkin 
Work it out. Work it out. Hands free. Got one hand free. Moves in with the right hand and then the hook. Go forward. Golovkin saw an opportunity, tried to take advantage, but missed. Rolls savvy enough to move his head. And that's round one. Jonathan Banks, the new trainer for Gennady Golovkin. What do you think of that first round, Sergio? Well, he's we the patient, Golovkin. He told us he wants to implement all the strategies he's learning from that man right there, Jonathan Banks. But I expect him to pick it up here because he has a fighter in Rose just backing up. He hasn't really got the respect he said he was going to get. Now, Golovkin is very patient, but I would think Chris Rolls can at least take a breath. He got through round one. At least he sees what's in front of him. And it's just another human being, a very good human being, but just a human being with two hands. Yeah, I think that's important to get through that first round. There you go. Get kind of the nerves out of your system. Now he's just in a fight again. The problem is with the guy that can hurt you to the head and the body. Steve Rolls said coming into this fight, he thought Golovkin was susceptible to the body shot. I haven't seen too much of that, at least not in the first for uh, round plus. Rolls tries a right hand to the body, and that landed, and with a long jab, a right hand to the body, and springs to the side nicely. Good work by Rolls. Good shot to the body right there. Two straight right hands to the body. Of course, just as I say that, he goes to the body. There's another one. Jab by Rolls as well. I got you. I got you. Step back. Step back. Step back. The body of Rolls. Rolls in the white trunks, of course. Golovkin in the red with the triple G. Watch your heads. And I agree with Rolls. Uh, if you're going to fight a monster like Golovkin, you've got to go to the body. Golovkin is going with both hands to the side. Landing body shots. And he has a variance in speed and velocity and impact, Sergio. He doesn't throw one type of shot. He has a variance. So he might tap to the body early and then dig in when he sees fit. Good shot by Steve Rolls right there, having a good right hand on Golovkin. And a hook as well. Steve Rolls moving forward with a little more confidence now here in round two. I love him flicking out a jab and then a hook, two hooks. Let's go. Steps back and away. You know, Golovkin is so subtle in his moves. Able to move out of danger. Now right hands and a hook combination from Golovkin on the way in. Rolls doesn't look hurt yet. Andrews back now with his own combination. Fires out and lands a Good jab by Rolls after the right. And the right hand as well. I have to like what you see from Rose here, Sergio. Oh, yeah. He rolled with the right hand right now. Came up short with a knuckle cut. But it was the attempt. And he came back. Hey, Rose. He's taking it. He's taking it. He's taking it. He's taking it. You got to get Curtis right Steve Rose right here. He's standing his ground. This is with the right hand there. He takes a big gulp of air. Final 30 seconds of round two. Golovkin, of course, I've never seen him hurt. If he's been hurt, it's never been evident. Right hand to the body by Golovkin. Body by Triple G. Answered by Rolls. Body shot by Rolls. Fires up right good. hand at the end of round two. Good round, kid. You're good. Listen, very good. What are you saying? Now listen. Let me welcome back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Listen. You know what? Yeah. Where's that water? Listen, you see, you see the third jab? Where's that water? Sneak that in when you're pushing him back. Okay. Get the water, tell me. Get, get, get the water. I got it here. Blood. Fantastic. One, two, one off that rhythm. You see when you stay in there, don't just stay there. Use that back foot to make you miss a little bit. All right. And here is something we don't see that often is that man right there, Golovkin, getting hit. Grazing right hand. It was that left hook that really shook up Golovkin. But it was this punch right here that snapped his head back. It was the right hand, but the left jab that snapped Golovkin's head back. He didn't expect that punch to come from that angle. And that's what they meant by the 1-2-1. One, one. Jab, right hand, and answering with the jab. It's a tough combination, Sergio, and rarely do you see him with that much power. 
Yeah, because you don't expect that last jab. You expect the one, two, but not the one in return. And I wasn't sure I was going to ask this during the main event. Chris Mannix, how have you scored it so far? But even now, one round apiece. Good second round for Steve Rolls. Looked very confident. Starting to walk Golovkin down just a little bit. Something to remember here, too. Gennady Golovkin, Jonathan Banks isn't trying to reinvent the wheel here. But your first fight with a new trainer can often be problematic. History has shown that with fighters. Sometimes things get lost in translation. That's something to keep an eye on. Watch your head, Steve. I wondered, as we saw the punch stats there, Rose uh, outlanded by Golovkin. I, I wondered if you'd give him round two. Sergio, do you agree with that? I know we're calling the fight. We're not scoring it. Yeah, I agree, because it was the, the snapping shot. We're going really to the eye-catching shots. Got, 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 those were landed by Rose. Now, the judges might agree with that. Very possible. Or. They can't go into it thinking, hey, the guy that we didn't think would have much success is having success. Let's give him the rep. That's not how they're supposed to behave. Body shot by Rolls. Golovkin trying to come around the glove with that left hook like he landed on Rubio. When you have a fighter that keeps his hands up like that, you either go around or go from the top down. Golovkin always patient, picking his shots. Hands are free. He doesn't have to I got you. in front of him. Rolls, a guy who's boxing very conventionally, but Again, responsible. Defense, sounds, boxing very well. Golovkin is able to touch him with that hook. Not landing anything that hard. He's able to keep his range and touch him. Rolls keeping that jab out. His corner is yelling to him. You need that jab. And when he throws that jab out there, it at least stalls the Ooh. offense. There's a right hand by Rolls. Stalls Look. the offense by Golovkin. That was a nice counter ride. That was a really good counter ride by Rolls. Steve Rolls, one of the most ineffective jabbers in and around his weight class. Only throws about 17 jabs per round, well below the middle weight number. So that's a strafing hook by Rolls as well. We're going to have to really start paying attention to these rounds and how they're scored. You wonder if Rolls is able to win these rounds. That's a good body shot, and again, a right hand by Golovkin. Golovkin has also landed, there's no question. But we expected dominance. We expected a showcase. We still might have it. But Steve Rolls of Toronto coming in has never fought anybody at this level. He's making a good account of himself. The small thing too, Brian, but Golovkin is fighting this fight. 164 pound catch weight. It's a weight that Steve Rolls, frankly, is more comfortable in as a super Why was Golovkin not that much? It's camp a little bit easier not to make that weight. Only surprising in that he is a little undersized for a middleweight, but he wanted those four extra pounds. Let's go to Claudia Trejas. Claudia? Thank you, BK. Well, Chris Mannix mentioned something about getting lost in translation, you know, Jonathan Banks being new in the whole Triple G corner. But a lot of things have gotten lost. As a matter of fact, backstory on that beautiful ornate robe. The original robe was lost the day of the weigh-in. So in less than 24 hours, a brand spanking new robe was not only designed but made right here in New York by a designer from England. It's the one that takes care of Anthony Joshua and our own Jesse Vargas. So things do get lost in translation. Back to you. That's got to be upsetting. When you're in Manhattan, you can recover. Got to go. Got to back him up. Yeah. Push him back. Rope store back. Then he didn't get nothing. And here we see Rose land another right hand. It's a counter right hand. He dipped his head to the left side and landed cleanly on Golovkin there. Golovkin getting hit a lot more than we're accustomed to seeing this early in the fight. Now that Golovkin razor close twice with Canelo Alvarez. No wins to show for him. We're going to ask the question, could he be disillusioned? Could he bring the same fire into the ring? And you know Canelo Alvarez is watching this fight. And you have to wonder what's on his mind as he sees this. A diminished possible future opponent. Rolls busy with the jab here as we start round four. Chris, how do you have a score? Two rounds to one for Golovkin. Rolls did some nice things in that third round. I thought Golovkin answered with the cleaner shots. Rolls again just landed with a hook, just touched him to the face, but he didn't land out and have success. I mentioned after round one, he'd be able to breathe and say, okay, just another man out there, but. His, his I got corner, it. I you can feel it. confidence is starting to build a bit. Able to have a little bit of success. And he's still calling out for him to use the jab. Golovkin now firing out his left jab. And a right hand. Golovkin will beat you down. You can't just stand there. 
Rolls doing a good job of keeping his hands up. Golovkin needs to dig down to the body, dig down to the forearms and elbows of Rolls. Golovkin built his reputation knockout by knockout. 23 in a row between 2008 and 2017. Look it out. There you go. Rolls his corner is saying, if you want to fight, you got to fight. You got to fight every 10 seconds stands up of every minute of every round to hang the triple G. That's the same shot that hurt Marco Antonio Rubio. Golovkin now backs up and hits right now to the head. Rolls does look rough. shot that I told you about. That was a chopping right hand that he landed on Marco Antonio Rubio. It's an awkward punch coming from a different trajectory from top to bottom. But that rock rolls right there because he didn't expect that coming. You don't often see someone throw a hook from that angle, No, Sergio. you don't, but that's what he had to do. And he did it with Rubio when he fought him at the stop hub. And boom, there's that left hook. And when a fighter falls face down to the canvas like that, you know the fight is over. His right arm and shoulder were just disconnected from his body. Underneath his body, pinned down there, Rolls did everything he could to try to regain his composure, really just regain his senses. Fought to get back up, but did not get back up in town. The right hand, and then that vicious hook. There it is, top of the head again, body shot. Fires back, but he's wobbling. And you see the patience of Golovkin, and there you go. Measured, always poised, always balanced. It was the left hand from the southpaw stance that Golovkin landed with. It all started with that chopping left hook that came from up to bottom, rock. Steve rolls right there, and it was chopping right hands to behind the ear. Well, you have to respect this man. And right at the moment, you wonder, hey, wait a second. He is 37. He is 160 pounds. Is he old? Has he lost a little bit of the energy? Has he lost the greatness? And there's your answer. No, he has not. The big drama show continues, ladies and gentlemen. And look, Steve Rolls is not in the top 10. We know that. Steve Rolls is not Canelo. He's not Demetrius Andrade. He's not. Matt check to Selecki. Jonathan Banks, though, that's everything you want. Oh! Five! Six! Jonathan Banks, well. His brother. Eight! They've got to be happy with that because there was pressure coming in here to answer. Yes, a lesser opponent, but you still have to go out and execute. No, absolutely. If they were seeking that third fight with Canelo, he just sold himself tonight. Joe Martinez is in the ring with the official announcement. Until the end comes officially, two minutes, nine seconds, round number four. Referee Steve Willis puts a halt to this bout for your winner by KO victory from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, Triple G! Sergio Moore, let me ask you right now, 
your feelings on the performance? Again, tested early, Rolls had success, but then the emphatic knockout. Overall, how do you judge the performance? Look, this is how Golovkin made a career, by knocking out fighters like this. Fighters that aren't really A-level, but B and C, but he's knocking them out in A-plus fashion. By the way, the judges, two of the judges gave all three rounds to Triple G. A third judge gave Rolls round two. I know Chris Maddox gave Rolls the second round. Just an unofficial scorecard. You see the punches landed 62 to 38, a wide margin for Gennady Golovkin. Power punches also in favor of Golovkin, 48 to 25. Rolls was active, again, had his moments, perhaps took a round, did on one of the judges' cards, but it's Golovkin with the poise and the power and the knockout. Let's go to Chris Mannix in the ring. Gennady, congratulations. Your first fight back at Madison Square Garden in, in two years. You get a win after the loss in September. How did you feel out there? I feel great. I feel like a new baby. You wanted to get a win in a fight like this, but was it important for you to get a knockout win and look spectacular in this fight? Chris, can you please just, I want to say, first of all, like, you know, thank you so much for everyone who support me, who support boxing. Thank you, guys. Good to see you today. Probably you enjoy this time today. And, of course, thank you, my opponent, you know, Sue Frost. Did you see a couple rounds? You know, he looks good. He looks strong. Were you looking for the knockout, though, in this fight? Yeah, of course. Of course, this is my style. You know, just, I, I want to. I give him just, you know, I try. Just a couple first round. I tell my coach, Jonathan Banks, that, okay, okay, I see, I see. I need a little bit of time. That's it. The second round, it looked like Steve Rolls got a little bit of confidence. He landed some shots on you. What adjustments did you make after that second round? Of course, I give him, you know, just distance, close distance, because he must work too. Because, you know, if he stay, like, on differences, it's impossible. It's too hard for me. You mentioned Jonathan Banks. First time in your corner. You had 22 fights with Abel Sanchez. How different was it to have Jonathan Banks in your corner? You know, right now I feel like completely different because I'm coming back to my knockout line, you know, just... I come back, guys. You're 37 years old. How do you feel in the ring at 37? I feel like a teenager, you know, like, first deal, first time, you know, not first time in, in garden, just, you know, I like my people, you know, thank you so much who support me, just thank you from Kazakhstan people who's coming, you know, just guys. This is present today for you. No, just thank you. You get the win, you shake off some of the rust. Who do you want to fight next? You know, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Of course, guys, I'm ready to September. I'm ready to Canelo. Just bring him. Just ask him. I'm ready. Today I stay here. Just please, guys. You know, just if you want look big drama show, please tell him. Do you believe that Canelo will fight you next? I believe, because this is boxing, this is boxing business. Why not, you know? You fought him twice, you believe you won both fights. It was a draw officially, you lost on the scorecards. Do you think you need to do anything differently if you fight Canelo again? Right now I had good experience, no, of course, like third fight is more interesting. Probably he's coming to open, I come to open, because we have a good experience both, you know, just next fight is amazing for us. It's strange to hear you announced as a former middleweight champion. You were a middleweight title holder, you had 20 title defenses. Is it more important for you to beat Canelo or to get your belts back? You know, I feel right now like a people champ. It doesn't matter for me, just, you know, just I want to beat him, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys, I told you, the thank guys who support me, just I'm people champion. If you fight Canelo, would it be right here in New York? I want, I want guys. Congratulations, Gennady. Thank you very much. I very appreciate everybody, everyone. Thank you, guys.